Hello, I just wanted to come to you really quick. Um, I may even get interrupted, but <clears throat> I just want to touch base and let you know, get, can I give you an update of our foster care situation? I'm Dory with Prairie Scraps, and I come to you and share a whole bunch of what's going on in my life, but one of the aspects that I've been kind of sharing with you about is, and updating you about, is that um, we have gotten certified to be foster parents, and actually it seems like it's like a long, tedious product, process because it actually took us a whole entire year to get certified, and so we've been certified since last October, and then nothing. We didn't get a single call. We didn't... nothing. So um, anyway, we finally got a call about two, maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago, and our license is actually from birth to two so I know we're kind of like small in our um in what we're getting as far as kids but we just kind of felt impressed to do that age for the time being for our first time it felt like it was something that was going to be easier to get into um especially with three older kids in the house we wanted to just kind of have a soft cushion um so anyway so the first one that came in was an older teenager and I just it would have been older than um, any of our kids in our house so I just I wasn't we weren't comfortable with that and that was kind of a little bit easier to say no to I think and um, last night or yesterday afternoon we got a call for a placement so we're kind of excited it's sort of a weird nervous thing it's funny because I think the guy my kids my own kids nailed it on the head like they're super excited to be getting someone to come to our home um, but yet very nervous. So that's kind of where we're at. Nothing like getting your house cleaned um, really quickly because you want it to look nice because the social worker is coming with the placement. So um, this one is also outside of our um, our uh, licensing, which was only until two, but they're expanding our license so that we can include this one. Um, this one is just a better, our youngest is, it's the same age as our youngest, but different sex. So um, anyway, we're getting somebody tonight, a new family member. So we're kind of excited, but yet uh, really nervous. Um, when we got licensed before, they really didn't check our chemicals and medications. They were like, as long as it's up high enough where they can't access it, because we were thinking toddler and under and possibly babies. Um, so they weren't really worried about it. And so all of a sudden I panicked about it. So I've been trying to get all, everything. And of course it's been like, since last May, since we got, we had our house visit. So of course life has gone on. My kids don't get into chemicals or medications. Not like we have them laying around, but wow. And I really don't use a whole lot of chemicals. So I guess in the closet, I really do have a lot of, um, chemicals. I don't know. I don't know where they all came. I had two gallons of bleach and I'm allergic to bleach and there are very few things I use bleach for. So I don't know why I have that, but I can't bear to throw it away because that's kind of ridiculous. So anyway, um, trying to gather all the cleaning supplies to one small spot. I'm just listening. My kids get excited. They were all quiet and doing something. Um, we had to get bedrooms clean. We had to clean the bedding off of the bed that we're getting ready because we actually hadn't talked about that. Um, I ran up and got a bunch of child locks and trying to figure those out. Um, child locks, they're no joke for adults. I'm telling you, I can barely, like you need three hands to open it up. But um, anyway, so that's where we're at. We're kind of excited, um, very nervous, and don't know what to expect. I went and got a bunch of... Um, I got a bunch of uh, like necessities, like toothbrush, toothpaste, comb. I didn't know what he's coming with. And that's it. I mean, oh, I got a little teddy bear. I was hoping to find one of those soft like throw blankets that you put on the, you know, so he could have his own little blanket. Our local store doesn't have it. We don't have stores, very big stores around us. They've had those blankets like all through the holidays and all last fall since they've been open and nothing. We couldn't find anything. So anyway, I had to settle for a little, um, teddy bear and a coloring book. So I'm trying to find something special for him and when he arrives. And so there you go. We're the other thing I think we're a little nervous about is we have to cover some childcare because I p teach piano two nights a week after school. So he'll have to have some, we'll have to get some help with that. It, we figured out it's only an hour and a half for two days. I need help with 
So, but that has to be an adult. So we're, we're kind of excited about that, trying to find somebody in a panic. It's funny how everybody says they're going to help out and, oh yeah, call me if you need anything. I can't find childcare. So anyway, and then also I'm going to have to be making some trips up to the public schools. So that's going to be fun too, because I've not really dealt a whole lot with the public schools because we homeschool. So my kids do go up an hour or so. So I'm going to have to go. My house is falling apart. You can hear screaming and it's only because everybody's super excited and nervous at the same time, which means they're all full of energy. So anyway, please subscribe and follow and comment and whatnot below and pray for us because we're going to be having a new adjustment in the house and it's our first time and we want to help and we hope it'll go well. But then we, of course, have some res reservations as well. So we'll come back soon. Thanks for, for listening.